Sir, I don't understand. I've closed more cases than any agent here. FBI. You're skilled, but you're not a team player. None of the other agents like you. Wait for my three count. One, two. Unbelievable. Hey, look who's here. Oh. Right into my mousetrap. Run, she's crazy. The Heat is a comedy about two women who are impossible to work with. Sandra Bullock plays an FBI special agent, while Melissa McCarthy stars as a local officer in Boston. So it's clearly a case of good cop, fat cop. It was really fun. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was hard, and you know, we had, we had a lot to shoot and a little kind of condensed time, but it was really fun. I mean, Paul runs, Paul Feig runs such a fun, creative, kind of collaborative set, and I don't know, we just, it was fun to do the great script and then be, to be able to like do things on top of it. It's like the best of both so worlds. So many great, every single person that was cast in this film, even if they were just for a day and you go, this character has no lines in the script. Genius comedians who would come up with dialogue and lines that you're just peeing yourself over. So every day you didn't know what you were gonna get. Even though on the script it said one thing, you had no idea yeah. what was gonna end up happening. So you were always <laughs> excited and had energy. I think this individual might be mentally ill. No, 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 just work with her. She is the best cop. Mother f The FBI has jurisdiction. No, nope. not in there. Would nope. you stop? No, not in there. Knock it off, Mullins. What is she doing? She's looking for my balls. Hey, if anyone sees the captain's balls, let me know. They're about this big. They're like really, really tiny little girl balls. If little girls had balls. In most buddy cop movies, two guys team up to defeat some villains. With over half the population consisting of women, it was only a matter of time before a movie like this hit the theaters. We're like a fungus. Like once we're That's what I always say. We're, we're not like a anywhere. fungus. So just accept that we're here <laughs> and make make nice with us because we're going to keep procreating and keep 50% of us are going to keep coming out of a vagina, you know? So <laughs> if I could have... So if I could I just didn't see that, that coming. Piece, I didn't see it coming. That feels awkward, weird. Just don't touch that area. Well, don't duck down. You're going to suck my hand up there. I think vaginas <laughs> are amazing. I think penises are amazing. I love a good penis. Um, I think vaginas just need to be respected the same amount that penises are respected. So if we could have equal penis and vagina respect, I think the world would be a kinder Gentler place. I'm putting that on a t-shirt. I'm gonna need this, I'm a trained interviewer. Or we could go in and beat him with a phone book. You just need to be patient. Who does, who, who, who does that? Hank Lassoir. You got tons of ties to the drug world. There he is. You don't fit in. I'm a federal agent. Really? Because you look like you're gonna set up a table and do their taxes. What are those? They're spanks. They hold everything together. Why? What's gonna come popping out? We also get a glimpse of these dysfunctional women's personal lives. Neither of them really has any real friends, so we mostly get to see their deranged families. Where they came from and what they didn't have or did have definitely makes up 85% of who they are, definitely. Yeah, I think so, and I love that that was worked into the story that you're, not the sum of your parts, but I mean, I think your background really informs who you, you end, up, end up being, and then it was nice to see two different worlds kind of come together like that. The hilarious comedy, The Heat, is out in cinemas now. Nice big one for you, sweetheart. Who is that? My mom. No cell phones. How about now? Oh, different story? Let's loosen that up.